Fans of the NCIS LA couldn't be happier as the show got confirmed for season 14. They're looking forward to the new storylines next year, but most of them desperately want the producers to wrap up the major character arcs before heading into new territory. The show's always been notorious for dragging on conclusions, and we're hoping this time things will be different. Whether it's the question of Dency's kids or Hetty's mysterious whereabouts, there are five NCIS LA storylines that need to be resolved before the end of season 13. Number 1. Dency and Kids NCIS Special Agent Kinsey Bly and Marty Deeks have had us hooked ever since they first partnered up with Season 3. Fans have been looking forward to Dency babies ever since those initial days when they were fake kissing for the sake of the mission. They made their relationship in Season 6, Episode 11, Humbug. These two were certainly in-game given their chemistry. The writers definitely thought that was the case because they had our favorites engaged in the Season 8 finale. And then the network delivered what the fans had always been waiting for, a Dency wedding in Season 10. It was certainly an episode to remember, as none of us could forget how beautiful Kinsey looked in her wedding dress or how Deeks got cold feet right before the entire thing. Now that these two have tied the knot, there's only one thing that the fans know now, Dency babies. These two have always been wanting kids. In fact, they were talking about kids even before they were engaged. There was a little back and forth in the beginning, but once they got on the same page, they tried to get pregnant, but it didn't work out. Still, they didn't lose hope and turned to adoption, and it did seem like we were going to see an addition to the family when Kinsey took to liking Rosa, a young girl she met on the case in episode 8 of season 13 titled A Land of Wolves, where Kinsey is kidnapped by a mysterious militia group. Much to Kinsey's and our disappointment, it didn't work out since Rosa was already living with her aunt. In the latest episode, Pandora's Box, the couple paid a visit to the Office of Refugee Resettlement, which has many fans wondering if they could be looking at adoption for the couple. The writers haven't revealed anything on that front, but it's about time they wrap up this storyline. The fans have waited enough. Number 2. When Will Kessler Strike? We first met the arms dealer and human trafficker Kessler in episode 5 of season 12. Fortunately, Kinsey was able to bring his criminal days to an end way back in 2008, but she ended up making an enemy in the process. A particular case put these two face to face one more time, and Kessler's words during the encounter were bone chilling to say the least. Kinsey wasn't the only one shocked when she discovered just how much Kessler knew about her life. From her husband to her kid's situation, it seemed like Kessler had been keeping some very close tabs on the special agent. It gets worse, as the ex-criminal flat out said that he's been preparing for the day when he gets to hunt her down, have sex with her, and then kill her. Not necessarily in that order. You would think that Kinsey would be able to lock him away in a corner of her mind, but it turns out she can't. By the end of the episode, Kessler had managed to land a call with the president, which ended with him walking free. Much to everyone's shock, the ex-convict was released by presidential executive order for undisclosed national security issues. Given this series of events, Kinsey could never get a good night's sleep knowing that he's out there walking the streets. The postcard he sent in episode 13 didn't really help ease the anxiety. Fans do admit that Kessler's character has brought his twist to the story, but a lot are of the opinion that his storyline has been dragged along long enough. The writers need to have the inevitable showdown and call it a day. Prolonging the conclusion for four seasons seems a bit too much. They should preferably do it before they introduce Denzi's kids into the mix. When will Callan catch Katya? Katya has been a thorn in G. Callan's side ever since season 10, episode 21. Anna was working undercover in a prison when she crossed paths with Katya. Originally, the Russian spy wanted to defect to the U.S., but when she killed the CIA officers overseeing her, it became clear what her real intentions were. After that, it was a back and forth between Russian intelligence, Anna, and Katya, one that unfortunately involved Callan's ex-girlfriend, Joelle. She ended up dying from Katya's torture in season 12. After things went awry here, Katya kept messing with Callan's life in one way or another, possibly because of his connection with Anna Kolchak. Later in the show, Callan enlisted fellow agent Zasha Gagarin's help to locate the Russian spy, but the spy's evasive maneuvers proved too much for her. Now in season 13, we saw someone imitate Callan using deep fake technology. She had been sabotaging him using deep fake technology, like using it to hold conversations with Deeks and asking for loans from the bank. At first, Callan found himself confused by this bizarre series of events, but now he knows that it was Katya behind everything. With this new information, he's more determined to put an end to things. It's just a matter of when. The writers have had Katya popping up for three seasons now, and it's about time they put a pin in it. We can only stay on the edge of our seats for so long. Number 4. Callan's Education Speaking of Callan, it seems like he's got other problems to deal with as well, like learning that there's more to him and Hetty. She's the operations manager for the Office of Special Projects in LA. At the beginning of this season, Callan found out that Hetty had known him long before he had tested him for his spy skills. These two go all the way back to Callan's foster days. Ever since the discovery, Callan has been obsessed with reaching to the bottom of things. He tracked down other foster kids Hetty took under her wing. He did find one who was working for Homeland Security, but before he could make any more progress, her 
her details disappeared from the database. Things got even more interesting as we learned that Callan's mother was a CIA operative and Hetty was her handler. That might help explain why Callan had been on Hetty's radar since the age of eight. As he went through Hetty's cabinet in episode one of season 13, he discovered many files with numbers on them. He ended up finding his own file with his exact birthday on it, and that's where the mystery of Subject 17 began. It was then Callan chose to confront Hetty, but she didn't give any straight replies and instead bolted off to Syria. After season 13's premiere, we never got to see Hetty again, neither did Callan, but he's still desperate for answers, and it's about time they were answered. This doesn't seem like a storyline that should be dragged all the way to season 14. The writer should just have Hetty reveal everything because being kept in the dark is getting painful for a lot of fans out there, not just for Callan. Number 5. Where is Hetty? Speaking of Hetty, just what is she up to? Hetty's always had a thing for disappearing and then popping up at the right moments. It's a miracle she made it to Kenzie's and Deke's wedding. After her brief appearance in LA, she was nowhere to be seen for the rest of the season. Even the team doesn't seem to know any details about her mission. All they know is that she was present at the site of a US drone strike in Syria. Apparently, she was meeting a target. This, for some reason, has Callan suspicious, who thinks that she might have ordered the strike herself. Harris Keen, a friend of Hetty Lang, told Callan that he was the one operating as her overwatch. According to him, Hetty was negotiating for the release of some other people. Fans suspect that these are folks from the NCIS, but we don't know. Apparently, these people are posing as Western journalists. Unfortunately, that's all we know about this strike. We don't know if Hetty is dead or injured or if she made it out alive. Hetty's death seems like an unlikely scenario since that would leave a lot of questions unanswered, especially for Callan. But we never know what the writers are planning. Regardless, the writers need to wrap up her story before season 14. It started with the premiere of season 13, and it's only appropriate it ends with the finale as well. Dragging it out might cause some fans to lose interest. Then there's also the fact that having her come back later in the show might just become pointless. What are your thoughts on the matter? Is there any other loose string you want to see taken care of before we head into season 14? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye now.